So how do you say that uh, the community will need clearance from the ministry? Did the ministry buy the bus in the first place? Show me in my constituents, in Lurambi, where ministry of education bus is available anywhere. I just bought a bus for St. Xavier, Shikoti. They could not even afford the insurance, my goodness. They couldn't even afford the insurance. Now there is one I'm buying from Mwangaza. The bus is almost ready. Actually, the bus is ready, but they can't move it from Nairobi to Kakamega because they don't have insurance, and insurance is about 300000 Where is the minister to help me? Oh, my goodness. What a joke. Then... Another thing is a school like Mwangaza Secondary School, a Matetia Secondary School, a Bwamba Secondary School, or Indangala Secondary School, or Muyala. When I buy a bus for a such a school, what am I thinking? This school doesn't have enough money to run the school. Actually, the minister doesn't even give them enough money to run their day-to-day -day activities. Eh? So by giving them a bus, the community doesn't get this bus for free from the school. The community rents and hires the bus, and by paying for the bus, that is how the bus will get insurance, that is how the bus driver will be paid, and that is how the bus will be maintained. These are simple things. And so how does the minister say that, I and my people will need permission from some stranger to get a bus that I bought myself. Like now I'm sourcing for the bus. I'm walking from one place to another, looking at the different buses they have. Where is the ministry to walk with me in the dust of Nairobi? Then they want to dictate me on what belongs to me. We will use the buses. Send Aquinas, we want to fundraise to buy a bus. I, as the member of parliament, under such